Hello and welcome to Daybreak English. Today I'm going to talk about some everyday British words and expressions. Hi, my name's Dawn. How are you doing? As an Australian who moved to Britain several years ago, I know a thing or two about being confused by very British words and expressions. I know, I know, Australians also have a huge amount of unique slang, so I'm not criticising. Some of these expressions I knew about because of British books and TV shows, but some of them left me thinking, huh? So today I'll look at seven British expressions that might leave you scratching your head. And then I'll show you how to use them in a short story. The first one is chin wag. A good chat, a catch up or gossip with someone. It's like your chin is going up and down fast, wagging like a dog's tail. Ah! Number two is gobsmacked. This means that you are so shocked that you feel the need to go and literally smack your gob. Gob is a slang word for mouth. Number three, if something is a bit naff, it's uncool, tacky, unfashionable, even maybe worthless. For example, the decor in this restaurant is a bit naff. Number four, to bodge or botch something is to mend or repair something clumsily. So not a professional job. He bodged my computer and now it doesn't work at all. Number five is gutted. This is devastated or extremely upset. You know, when you catch a fish, it has to be gutted, so all its insides are removed. So yeah, it kind of feels like that. For example, he was absolutely gutted when his team lost the grand final. Number six, mint. Something of the highest caliber or best quality. It comes from the term mint condition which refers to something pre-owned that is still in perfect condition. These days, something that's just mint doesn't have to be pre-owned. For example, your new jacket is mint. Number seven, chuffed or chuffed to bits. You are overjoyed or full of pride. For example, my kids gave me a mum of the year trophy and I'm chuffed to bits. <laughs> My kids would never do that. Okay, so those are the seven expressions. Oh, there is an extra expression that isn't especially British, but it's in the story and you might not be familiar with it, so I'll tell you about it. We describe a situation that happens suddenly with lots of quickly changing or confusing activity as a whirlwind. So a relationship that moves very quickly is called a whirlwind romance. Okay, you're set now. I'll use these expressions in a short story to demonstrate them in context. I bumped into my friend Rachel recently I hadn't seen her for about a month, so we had a good old chin wag. I asked her, what's new? And she said, I just got engaged. Well, I was gobsmacked. Last I heard, she wasn't even in a relationship. So she told me all about her whirlwind romance with the man of her dreams. Now, I noticed that she was carrying a large dress bag. So I asked about it. She said, it's a wedding dress. 
I bought pre-owned a few days ago. It was a bit naff, but so cheap that I couldn't resist buying it. I got my mum to alter it, but she did such a bodge job. I'm taking it now to see if I can get it fixed. Poor thing, she looked totally gutted. So I gave her the number of my friend Nikki, who did such a beautiful job of altering my wedding dress. A few weeks later, I saw Rachel again and she was absolutely chuffed with her dress. She said that after Nikki had finished with it, the dress was just mint. Now that you know these words and expressions, why don't you practice using them in your own sentences? I would love it if you wrote some in the comments section below. That's all for today. I hope you found it helpful. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Why not check out this video? See you again soon. Bye.